what is going on guys welcome back to the channel it is finally paint day happy days it's taken a while to get it i've had the van for maybe a month month and a week just over don't know lost count lost sleep we're in the booth we are ready plan is i'm going to get the roof painted i'm going to paint it in a few stages reason for that is it's quite a high roof. I can't paint the roof and the quarter panels because I'd end up leaning on the quarter panels to paint the roof, etc. Um, I want to get a nice wet finish over the whole van. And it is hard to concentrate on getting one, one bit perfect. You then might have a dry edge somewhere else. So I'm going to paint it in a few processes. First one is roof, inside of the boot shut, uh, tailgate, inner doors and outside. Let that go off for an hour. Then I'm going to get the bumpers in there, the front wings, then the doors, yada yada, yada yada. Anyway, cleaning. If there's one of the processes that is highly important, well, with painting, most of them are, but massively cleaning it. Clean it and clean it. I've already cleaned it once. I might have cleaned it twice. And Sam come down for 10 minutes to give me Andy, cleaned it once. So that's three times. Anyway, we're gonna get it cleaned off. I'm gonna get painting. Now, most of the van is gray. And because I want the red, sometimes when you paint a car, if you've got a different color base coat, ground coat, it shows up a little bit different. Most of it is gray now, so I have got the other Nathan to mix me up some similar gray in base coat. I'm gonna get some gray over the blue areas, and then I'm gonna go over with the red two pack. It should all blend in. Let's get it cleaned. Let's get straight on with painting. Enough chit chat. I do apologize, the video is a bit later than planned, i.e. a few days, but I've been busy. Let's get there.
first bit of the painting is all done. I'm over the moon. I'm happy with the colour and I'm happy with the finish. It is shiny, shiny, shiny. And the roof, can't see from it, shiny. Happy days. The finish, let me shut that without it shutting. Check that finish out. <whistles> can't really see because it's a bit dark in here. We'll have a better look tomorrow. I'm just going to show you one bit of demasking because it is quite satisfying. So it is late on a Saturday. It's about quarter to 10 now. Finished painting this about an hour ago and it is dry. It's touch dry, but I'm not touching the, uh, the actual panel. Finished painting this, went and saw the missus and the kids for an hour. Now I'm back. Gonna paint, gonna paint the bumpers and the wings. And then if this is rock hard tomorrow, I'll be doing the body, i.e. rear quarters, door shuts. And then the last bit to paint would be the actual doors and the insides of the doors. Oh, come on. Oh, I've got the tape all the way around the back of the window because I didn't want any paint on the windows. And I've cleaned the windows before doing it. Check that out. I suppose I could do that bit along there. That'd be a bit more satisfying. Tell you what, let's just do the whole lot in one go. Come on. Are we feeling lucky? Fresh. Oh uh, yeah. Get the van out. I'm gonna take my DTE masking paper off. Just about shut the doors. Get the van out, get the bumpers in. Let's get painting some more, boy. Guys, it's actually three days later. I'll explain why in a minute. Been taping it up, finally got it in the booth. We're here. Big shout out to the guys for the out taping. Nice one, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate that. Anyway, let's get in the booth, get it painted. I've had to wait because Foxy's been busy. I use his booth. Yada, yada. Let's get on with it. We're in the booth. Finally. What it was, oh, and I painted the bonnet. I didn't get that on shot, I do apologise, but it's only a bonnet. Painted the outside, painted the inside. So the following day, after painting the roof and the rear doors, I was making use of the booth time I had. I taped it up, and I noticed that the tape, the state of my hands, I have been busy today. They are, I need to wash them, obviously. I'm not touching the panel. Taped it up, pulled the tape back a little bit, and there were sticky marks on the fresh paint, so I had to abort. It's now three, four days later. We're in the booth. Let's get the Manfrotto big stand out. Let's wash my hands. Let's get the booth going. Let's mix some paint. Let's get some paint on this goddamn van. 
one thing after editing the start of this video, I noticed, obviously I didn't shout out the colour. Well, you know it's red, it's a bit of a giveaway. But if anyone's wondering, it is a, a VW red, and it's VW Tornado red. I, uh, I chose between flash red or tornado red. And I googled the difference, and apparently tornado red is a stronger, brighter, slightly darker red, and that's what I wanted. Really happy with the colour. Happy with how the paint's gone on so far. So now I'll get this done, and then tomorrow I'll get the doors done, and then I'll literally I'll hang the doors in here. And the following day, I'll hang them straight back on the car so they don't get put down anywhere. Any fresh, freshly painted parts, the safest place for them is on the motor. Anyway, enough chit chat, it's getting late. It's Wednesday, it's about nine o'clock. Shouldn't take too long. Let's do it. two weeks since the last video I do apologize I had loads of work on and I wanted to get these perfect we know the shells done we know the other bits are done the last piece is the doors sliding door two front doors happy days um, the rubbers what a pain in the backside some of the rubbers are held in with clips these are, are stickied on so if you get them off they end up distorting going out of shape so I've had to uh, clean and tape the rubbers, both sides, taped all the, uh, the grommets up, got all my hinge locators taped up. Was gonna paint them yesterday, but I found a dent in one of the doors. As I was rubbing the primer down, I found another dent. We're not having no dents, I'm not, I'm not going to all this effort to miss a dent. 
I haven't this one yet, so. Got that done, primed it this morning, left it out in the sun, nice and rock hard. I've rubbed it down uh, while prepping the rest of them. I found a couple of chips, so we've got some uh, putty in there. Just straight in, it's all gone off. It's about nine o'clock on a Saturday night. I don't know if I've said that already, don't know, anyway. Uh, I'm ready. I have got to tape up the rest of this rubber, clean them, clean them, clean them, and clean them some more, tickle off these bits of uh, putty, mix some paint up, throw some whitey grey on the top of them, that's a bit precarious on there, and then paint them. I'll get this video up straight away. Let's get straight on with it because there has been delays. Oh yeah. Guys, slight, uh, slight malfunction. You might have noticed I'm putting the white, light grey ground coat on, and uh, anyway, I've run out. It's half ten at night. It's only a ground coat. It's not an exact colour. Anyway, I've rung Foxy Nathan. It's his workshop. It's his mixing scheme. I have never used it in my life. He sent me on my phone how to do it you do it in grams I've already done some uh, I'm on the last one Kai took a minute it took me about 15 minutes to find them all P192475 solid colour base coat converter and I need 60 grams of this you better have more One nine two four seven five. One nine. Oh yeah, freshy. Sixty two grams of this. Might be enough. I've never done this before, but it's easy. It's numbers. Sixty five grams. Twenty. 30, 40, 50, how many did I say? 65, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a little bit for good luck. Happy days. Proper paint mixer, ain't I? Tinting it right up. So look, I don't know if you can see on camera. See, see all the blues and the yellows in that? Basically, that's an off-white that makes. I know I need to stir the hell, oh, look in there. Look at that. This is just to make a white. Hopefully you can see that. Doesn't look like white in there. Still don't look like white, looks more red. Ah! What? Let me stir it some more. Oh, here we go. So, anyway, I'm proper paint mixer now, we're not, boy. Let's get back to painting.
It's the following day, it's Sunday. Paint has gone hard and they are shiny. That's all the last pieces. I did also get all the handles painted and the locks. And that is the last pieces done. Really happy. If anyone's wondering, there is two coats on everything. You give it a 95% coat, then you come in 10, 15 minutes later and you give it a 100% coat, a nice heavy coat. So there's plenty of paint on there, we're happy with that. Well, you can polish it, nib it, there ain't no dirt in them really. Um, little polish if any bits pull up and uh, it will look good. This video is already a couple of weeks late so I do apologise. It's taken me a while to get all the bits done individually but we're finally there. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to hang this out too much, i.e. make too many videos because I sit and watch YouTube and you get halfway through a video then they say, check out the next one when we're doing this. I'm like, mate, I thought I was watching it now. Anyway, going to make a video, a short video in a couple of days of putting it together. So this video is just getting the bits painted. They're all painted, we're happy. It's been a bit of a slog to get it. Five weeks of my life here, but... It's come out nice, it's all good. There's plenty more videos on the Caddy build, so have a little check out of those, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.